What's going on guys and welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to be talking about Dokeb. So Dokeb was requested by this person 3, 2, 1 And the person that we are going to be doing next is oh, was, They weren't good claps but you know we'll have better ones next time so uh yes so if you'd like to do that then please feel free to comment down below who you want to see next and i will try my best to get round to you guys i want to say thank you for the massive amount of support the subs that we've got it's 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 insane how i feel like last year we were on 12 subs this year we're you know on a stupidly high amount it just it's insane to me honestly so i just want to say thank you to all of you guys for you know letting enabling this and letting this happen and uh yeah let's jump right into these tips for tip number one we're going to talk about the main benefits of using Dokebi's logic bomb. And the, the main benefits of using Dokebi's logic bomb are forcing the defenders to stay still while they disable the phone buzz, giving away the defender's location, and disrupting the ability to hear environmental sounds. Due to the above benefits, the best way to utilize the logic bombs are when pushing defender's position. This can apply to whether pushing aroma once their location is revealed, or when attacking the objective site to keep anchors distracted, or completing objective especially ap applicable for diffuser plants as logic bomb will quite, li um, quite likely distract defenders and prevent a plant denial so it's very helpful for basically confusing defenders rooting out roamers if you know their enemy has a roamer that might hinder your push and things like that so just the common practice for timing logic bombs is use the first bomb when entering the building uh, or clearing out roamers. Such uses can be beneficial to avoid early man count losses and raise a team's odds in gaining an early advantage. The second bomb is usually used at the final push of the diffuser plant. It maximizes the chances of successful outcome and action at this crucial time of the round because it means the defenders are more easy to hear and more distracted because they've got two things I've got to worry about, not just one being the diffuser. For tip number two, it's just some ways that I suggest you guys should play the KB or two things. So for this tip number two, it's don't be afraid to use logic bombs. Keeping both logic bombs for late round stage can of course be beneficial and you should not use both immediately. However, frequently dying with logic bombs unused is a good sign that you might be hoarding the utility a little bit too much. Also, when using logic bombs, tell your teammates to notify you when they need a logic bomb. Remember that the logic bomb can be benefit can benefit everybody on your on your attacking team. So do not use it for for your benefits only. Utilizing logic well bomb fully Fire requires planning and coordination with your team. You should not expect everyone to remember that they have DoKB on their team, especially when playing with the random squad. Nor should your teammates expect you to guess when they could benefit from your utility. Communication is key. And just a quick little thing, if you're solo queuing and playing bomb, it might be a good idea to fill a plant role as DoKB. It requires minimal teamwork to be effective at logic bomb and plant timing. You might get lucky with matchmaking and have a good teammate. Good teammates might play Rainbow Six Siege like it's meant to be played as a team-oriented objective-based shooter and not Call of Duty. However, there will be matches where your teammates will have different plans and agendas than you would expect. Counting on teamwork in the environment with lots of variables, especially when it comes to the human aspect of it, is risky. Therefore, I recommend asking for the diffuser when playing Dekeby in Rainbow Six Siege and taking the role of the planter by yourself. All you need to do is time the logic bombs and plant it to plant this and then activate your utility and it will be a lot easier for you. For tip number three, it's the play style that you should employ when using KB. So, the playstyle is Disruptor slash Support. Realm 6 Siege to KB is an excellent choice for players who want to focus on disrupting defenders' actions and giving an advantage to the attack team gunfights. She plays more of a role of supporting the operator as due to the importance of her utility during the final push. The KB is rarely used in an aggressive operator who would perform an entry-fragging role, but might be 
exists. Um, I recommend for support operators to aid entry fragging teammates by droning for them to feed with vulnerable in valuable intel about defenders positions. Droning for others is not flashy and won't show on the scoreboard. However, it's one of the essential aspects of definitively and consistently victorious gameplay and around a group of people where everyone plays themselves. It will help you a lot in the long run. The KB Rem Six Siege is not recommended for entry fraggers. Weapons available at her disposal are not the optimal choice for heavy fragging. On top of that, the KB's utility is useful at the last stage of the round, objective push, thus you should try to stay alive. The KB will more often than not be bought for her utility to aid the team with isolating roamers and disrupting anchors located on the objective. Play styles of the attacker Zero Six Siege is flexible and fact fluid. Every operator turns into an entry fragger once necessary tasks are completed and utility has been used. Therefore, you can play more aggressively and go fragging once entry to the building has been made, the teams have established sufficient map control and you have used your utility. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you would like to see more like this please feel free to comment down below what you would like to see Drawing next done. and i hope you uh hope you like it um so obviously for all you knock mains yes i'm trying so hard to get knock but it's just the renown is not coming in and i don't understand why but i will try my best uh i don't know what video is going to be next week because obviously that's uh i mean next time because that's my random mix up one but we'll see how it goes. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay inside, stay safe, whatever you choose to do. Make sure it's amazing. I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye-bye.